Tonight is the second in a series of talks called Innocent Inspires. It's all about us getting together some absolutely brilliant, thought-leading business people, social activists, entrepreneurs that are doing something different on a different theme each time. Tonight's theme is all about the spirit of ethics in business. And each of these guys here have got such interesting stories doing things, either completely different things or the same thing but a completely different way. Just stuff that we can really learn from, get inspired by. And that is the purpose, to give us all a bit of extra fire in the belly when we go back out and do what we can to leave things a little bit better. I've been created and shaped by food. And living in a city like this, food impacts on your life every day. We've got to look back and say, well, how did we give ourselves enough food to sustain ourselves? Well, we've got to grow it. We've got to grow it close by. There's a city farm right here. And there's a city farm in Kentish Town, a city farm in Hackney. There's city farms all over this town. You just don't know that they're there. Gorilla gardening is the illicit cultivation of someone else's land. You're not asking permission first. And the amazing thing is, is that London is a blank canvas. There is so much that we can be doing. We've, we've done the groundwork, we've proved that you can get away with it. If you could talk us through, kind of from morning till night, on an average day, how you try to tread lightly on the earth. I try to employ good old common sense. So I buy what I need, I get to A to B as fast as I can and as lightly as I can, as much as to be ethical. I love to slow down and look at London and I find it almost impossible to arrive anywhere in a bad mood after a bike ride through Hyde Park. My granny was a costume designer, so my first dresses were made from the scraps that she used to keep everything and I made my first dresses from bits and pieces from her floor. So now I make clothes. I want people to just think a bit more when you buy something. Who made it? How did they make it? Where was it made? Uh, I'm co-founder of Good For Nothing, which uh, does, hopefully does good stuff for nothing. Um, I'm also a co-founder of a thing called Swarm, which hopefully does good stuff, but we take cash. Um, <laughs> if you want to sort of leave things better, when you find them, you, you have to change stuff. And change is actually really bloody difficult. In my experience, change starts from within. This is really what we're all about. And actually, the interesting thing here is about providing a, a bridge, really good for nothing, to bring different disciplines, different skills, different people, different experiences together. And it's that remix. It's these remixes of people's ideas which makes it work. It's a diversity, and that's what the world needs. It needs diversity. It certainly has for me getting to meet these guys and listen to them and hear their stories and I leave with a head full of brilliantly nourishing ideas and concepts I'm going to take with me. So I'm sure you would want to join me in thanking them all very much for an absolutely brilliant set of